Um. Oop. You know what? Whatever. Day. First full day without dog. Saying, when will the new moon be over that we will sell grain and the sap is end that we may market wheat? Skipping the um, skimping the measure, boosting the price, and treating with dishonest scales. That's Amos, A M O S, chapter eight, verse five. And no, this does not teach socialism or anything bad about. Well, I mean, not bad about what capitalism is obviously is. It. And you might say, yeah, the Bible teaches socialism, this verse, this verse, this. Thou shalt not steal, there's private property. Do not steal the private property, others' private properties. Do not steal it. The Bible doesn't teach a biblical... Well, that's a... Why? Because the Bible does not teach a political or economic theory. <laughs> I mean, there's stuff you can use there to help you with making wise decisions. But the Bible doesn't teach communism or socialism. It doesn't really teach capitalism either. All that much. What you do is look at the Bible and see what ideologies line closest to it. Because we're not going to be finding one that perfectly does. Anyway.